Welcome again guys, welcome to again biology with maths from Shomu's biology and in this video we will be talking about another kind of DNA melting temperature type of problems. We have solved several problems. Now this type of problem is slightly different than the previous problems that we have solved. So let's begin with it. So let's read the problem. What is the melting temperature of a DNA molecule that is 450 base pairs long and has 50% of the GC content? Now it's almost easy uh, to calculate the melting temperature if they told you the GC and AT of the, of the uh, total base pair of the DNA or if they provide you uh, the length of the DNA and uh, the percentage GC content of that DNA because uh, you, you can use a simple formula to calculate that. So let us think about the formula which is required and dealt with three important parameters and those parameters are, so let me write those parameters. One is the melting temperature that is Tm and is another is the percentage GC content that is there and another thing is the length of the basis. So these are the three parameters that we always deal with this type of melting temperature calculations. Now let's produce a formula with which we can easily do that. Now actually we won't produce it because it's already there. So let me write that formula for you and actually this formula is kind of huge. You, you need to memorize it, put it in your mind. Sometimes they can provide you the formula, sometimes they won't but uh, you must prepare for all the times. So the formula actually is 64.9 plus 0.41 multiplied by percentage GC content minus here we get so that 500 divided by the length of the basis. I mean, this is the formula for calculating it, right? So this is the formula. So Tm equals to 64.9 plus 0.41 multiplied by percentage GC content minus 500 by length of the basis. Pretty big formula, I understand. But uh, once you solve one or two problems with it, it will be very, very easy for you. And the calculations, you know, super easy child's play. So simply write it down 64.9 plus 0.41 multiplied by, you know, GC content is 50%. So it is 50 instead of this. And 500 divided by number of bases was 450. Put it, put the value in there. And if you do all the calculations, remember the answer will be 85.4, 84.3, sorry, 84.3 degrees Celsius because I have already calculated I have the answer but the major thing for this type of problem is this formula that's why I am making this video because you need to know this particular formula once you know this formula rest of the things are super easy to calculate right so you get the value so using that formula they can ask you to understand and calculate Tm they can ask you to calculate the percent GC content of a particular DNA or even they can uh, want to know the length of the basis by giving you the value of percent GC and the melting temperature both together. So you know this is a very versatile formula to calculate so many different parameters from one or two particular known parameters right. So that's it guys enjoy.